Hey guys, I'm Chris, and this is Look Ma No Hands. I still love that intro. Um, I haven't done a, done a vlog in about, well, about three weeks, three, four weeks now, and there's a couple reasons for it. Normally, as you know, I've been trying to discuss uh, mainly mental health issues, including autism and depression, and I had about a depression, and that's why I didn't do it, but I don't really discuss that. I want to give you some news on Project Z. Project Z is really taking off. Um, like two days before I did my last vlog, I we, we were going to be shooting. We lost our location, so I wasted an entire weekend, and that's what put me in the in the in the spiral. Um, we've rescheduled that. We're still looking for a location, but I think I've got one nailed down. But recently, we we decided we're moving on to the second episode, which we're still going to release second, but we're going to shoot it first. We've got a location. Uh, the location's guaranteed. We we just got actors. Today we had the most awesome table reading rehearsal for it. Everybody did a great job. Um, and I'm really excited. Project Z is taking off. Um, you can check out the information that we've got at www.savagelightstudios.com slash Project Z. That's our main website. Um, and keep keep an eye out because it's not it, it's, it's branching out. It's not just what we originally planned. We've got a 39 episode series of short films. Um, the feature film, now we've added web comics, motion comic, a full comic book which is going to be gorgeous. We've, we've signed on an actual uh, comic book writer who's written a couple of the episodes, but he's going to be working with, with us on this. And um, one of my best friends, George Sabo, has agreed to do art for the comic. It's going to be in a different style. The entire comic's going to be drawn in charcoal. It's going to be just absolutely amazing. Um, keep an eye out for that, because that's, that's actually a prequel. It's called Project Z, uh, Patient Zero. And we've got a really good grasp on what's happening now. Uh, we just signed on uh, Harold Jean uh, Franquez as our AD for the entire for the entire Project Z uh, series, at least for the first season. Um, and we'd like to welcome Gideon Hodge to the project. Gideon's going to be a producer. He's helping us do a business plan, and hopefully we can get get some investors off that. Um, if you want to be in a zombie movie and you're in the New Orleans area, let us know. We've got uh, we've got 13 episodes we're shooting. We can always use more zombies. But for the moment, I wanted to show you uh, one of the things that we're really excited about. We got our prop weapons in. I don't know if I've showed you the shotguns or not, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we have our Desert Eagle and our six-hour P220. These things are airsoft pistols. Uh, normally on a production, you see what they call a dummy round pistol. That, that, that dummy round pistol actually fires cartridges with, uh, with uh, gunpowder in them, and it's dangerous. It can hurt people and it can hurt your hearing. Uh, Airsoft, on the other hand, is a game that uses uh, that uses BBs, um, but the Airsoft pistols are designed for veracity, aka they look, they feel, and they weigh the, the right amount. And I wanted to give you a real quick um, demonstration. And timber may jump a little bit, so the camera may bounce. It locks back in the in the uh, in the lockback position as if it's empty, or I'm shooting glitch now. That one is really cool in my opinion. But I'm a big guy. So I have a hand cannon. Desert Eagle .50. This, the, in real life, this gun fires what they call a, a 50 caliber action express round. This is the equivalent of being kicked by a horse. But this is still my, fav my favorite weapon of all times. As you see, they look real. They act real and they have the real motion. What makes this one insane is this setting. And this would never happen in real life, but you gotta love it. Kicks like a fucking mule even without the, uh, the external rounds. But 
once you let off the lever, it locks back into the breech. We're really excited about this. And I'm about to scare a cat. Zoe! Okay, I'm not going to scare a cat. My cat is badass. Anyway. He's afraid of every other gun. Anyway, thank you very much for uh, checking out Look Ma No Hands. Keep an eye out on that website. It's uh, www.savagelightstudios.com slash Project Z. Thank you very much. That didn't work like I expected. <laughs> Uncut it.